this is Vinny just from howmakemoneyblog.com and today I'll be going through this CTR theme which just recently came out and how does uh, this theme work so this is a back end of one of my WordPress blog and uh, there are uh, these three columns in here the first one is activation settings the second one is general site options and third one is AdSense options so the, the first thing is you have to uh, put in your details for the activation and this is just an email and uh, the activation key just after putting that details you just click on save changes and it's gonna it's gonna uh, save your theme so the second thing is this is general op site options so we got here one two three four we just got here five uh, CTR sub themes and as you can see uh, four four of these themes are without header that uh, just you have to put your tags in there and the last one is with your header if you want your CTR theme to be with header so just click on this one and otherwise just click any of these so for this uh, for this example uh, I'll be using this bathroom this is this is bathroom remodeling something so I'll be using this sub theme so the the second thing is this is if you are using just the text version of sub theme so uh, you'll have to put your um, keyword just the site the site keyword in here in the site header for for the demo purposes this is car insurance and whatever my blog is and otherwise if you are using this banner CTR uh, sub theme so you'll be using this site header image uh, this is 927 width and 180 pixel in height. Uh, the the one thing the one thing uh, to to highly focus on is this is this uh, push down images. These are the images that resides on uh, just just for example. These are the images that reside on your blog. So, and this is not the 336 into 280. Just like the AdSense images these are not the 336 and 280 images these are th instead these are 326 and 280 in size so this is this is one thing to remember that this is not 336 into 280 so most of the images on uh, on google images are um, means you won't get these 326 into 280 size of images so what we can do is we can go to the google images we'll find the images that suits our blog and what we'll do is uh, we'll, we'll grab this on our hard disk and then we'll go to this website pickresize.com so what we'll do is we'll, we'll just browse our image just for for example I'll take this one and we'll continue and uh, what we need to do is we just go in here and click on custom size and change this to pixels and this is um, 180 and this is 326 326 into 180 so after this just go and go and save as jpeg or whatever you like and I am done resize my picture that's all you just save this on your hard, hard drive and that's all so the next thing is you'll just upload these two images the push down image one and push down image two so whatever text you would like uh, for this example i'll just take this one uh, this is uh, 303 and this is uh, i'll take this one i'll take this one and i'll put the I'll just put the car and this is the link that uh, you can you can use the link for your affiliate affiliate products or you can just leave it blank I'll use the I'll use one of my affiliate link for this one. So what I do is copy link location, go back. I'll put I'll put my link location in. Okay, the second one um I'll use this one and I'll use the same car one and I'll use the same link. So the the next thing is this one says use tagline instead of link unit. So what this tagline is, it's gonna appear on your on your blog somewhere here. This one, cheapest car insurance in um, Los Angeles, 
Angelus. <laughs> ah, I can't spell that. Okay, <laughs> never mind. And uh, what this what this thing uh, what this thing is if if you want to if you want to use your Google AdSense uh, link units so you can check this. Uh, otherwise, just leave it like this. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna take your tagline from here. It's gonna take your tagline from general settings. Uh, this one cheapest car insurance in uh, cheapest car insurance and it's gonna it's gonna put that tagline on your blog so the next thing is okay this is override sub theme default color scheme so if you leave it like this uh, it's gonna use the default one that is just uh, white and whatever the link is link colors are so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna check this one and for for this blog, uh, my site background was uh, all white, so I'll just use this one FF9966. So the best thing to take these hexadecimal color codes uh, is just go to this website hmlcolorcodes.com. So whatever whatever uh, hexadecimal color uh, suits your site, just uh, grab one from here. So we'll go back and container container background. This is the the simple thing this is the container background so just leave it like white and this is uh, this is my background this is ff9966 so menu bar background and rest all is default settings and what I changed in here is this link color so this is uh, 000066 uh, this will um, adjust your Google Ads as well so whatever color you like to put in this uh, put in this in link color so it's gonna by default change the Google AdSense links to the same color the best thing to to find the link colors for any any blog is just go to go to this one and this is this Firefox plugin this is Firebug so you just fire Firebug and just click on this one and this is the color I want for my links so what you do is just go here and just click on this one so what it does is it's gonna give you this all this coding and everything so this is the code when you when you hover over this it's gonna show the color so sorry this this color is same as these link colors so I'm gonna use this color for my links for my Google AdSense links as well so let's go back the next thing is rest all is default tag text color border color and link unit I'm gonna uh, this is uh, for link unit ads so I'm not going to use this uh, link ads in here on my blog so if you want to change your custom CSS you can put your CSS in here and it's gonna change and this is for Google Analytics code so I'm not going to use Google Analytics so I'll leave it blank and this is a uh, footer scripts so these are the kind of scripts if you want to use any script you want to use you can put it here so it just goes uh, in this uh, just before this body tag in your HTML so and this is the next thing uh, if you want to disable CTR theme footer link you just check this one and the next thing is you just save your changes and just go to the AdSense options now. Okay. the The first thing is uh, it says disable ad servings. So if if you check this one, check this box, it's gonna disable all the ads on your blog. So this is the best thing uh, when you got your new blog and you want Google to index your in the, index your pages and you don't um, you don't want to show all your ads to uh, Google and uh, Make your make your blog spammy. So what you can do is you can just disable or you can put all this code in uh, this section and just uh, click on this one. So it's gonna save all your code, but uh, it's gonna disable your, your ad servings. So for for just like one week or so, uh, when Google index, uh, indexes your blog, so you can just uncheck this one and your ads is gonna pop up again on your blog. So for this purpose. Uh, I'm gonna 
and check the box and this is hide ads uh, from specific reference so this is basically when you want uh, just like uh, you want your site to be like inspected by any of the advertisers just like yahoo and uh, maybe i don't know so you just you just put this www.yahoo.com in here so it's gonna hide the ads from yahoo that's all and this is uh, ads and scored 160 into 600 so this is the code that appears on your sidebar so if you want to use your 160 into 600 code you can put the code from google adsense in here so i'm not going to use that one so, and this is uh, the one that uh, i'm going to use 336 into 280 so i got my code in here uh -oh. i'm going to use my code so i'll just so i'll just put my code from here i'm going to put it here and this is uh, 789 into 90 so this is like uh, the the link code that appears uh, that appears on your blog uh, just here just here if you, if you don't want this uh, tagline so it's gonna be the access links in here so the next thing is and this is i suppose the same same thing so adsense 728 into 50 link unit code Oh, I'm so sorry. I suppose I suppose this is the this is the other one. That's a that's the long that's the long banner, long vertical banner. And this is ad layouts. So these these are the ad layouts. Uh, how your ads gonna appear on your blog? Every time someone refreshes your your blog or move from one page to another or one post uh, to another. So this is how your uh, ads gonna pop up on your blog. If you want, if you want. To uncheck any of this you can uncheck that uh, suppose you don't want your ads to appear like this on the on the on the side this is your content and this is your ads so you don't want this one to appear so you just uncheck this one and it won't be it won't be appearing on your blog so the next thing is this is track layout performance uh, <clears throat> this is um, if you want to track your <clears throat> ads uh, with ad channels from adsense so you can use this one and you can put all your custom channels in here so <clears throat> i'm not i'm not going to use that one. so we'll do save changes and let's go back to the blog and i'll hit refresh okay here we go so these are the two these are the three uh, 326 into 280 uh, ads and with the with my uh, link uh, you can see on uh, the left hand uh, left hand just just here you can see that uh, there will be a affiliate link and for the second ad as well so they these these two ads gonna these two images gonna stay there for 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 this home page so, uh, I'll tell you how to how to change these images afterwards and this is my adsense uh, so these these links are the same just like this one and there must be two adsense okay that's that's the second one if I refresh my web page my blog so look that ad disappeared ready to go here because every time someone refreshes my my blog or move from one post to another uh, what this uh, this theme does is it just switches the ads from one place to another so that uh, that gives you high ctr okay this is all and the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we'll move to the widget section so these are the widgets so what we want to do in widget section is this is the left column uh, above 1600 ads i don't want my, these ads to appear here so what i'll do is i'll just put some just uh just a simple search box in here simple search box close it should be okay here we go search this is search box on my blog and anything else i want to do is uh, i'll just I'll just put one categories 
-hmm. and I'll refresh this one here we go so this is all good <coughs> okay the next thing is uh, okay the next thing is uh, suppose you you click on this this post or someone someone clicks on this post so what do you want is you don't want these ads to appear in here these two ads or you want to switch these ads to these images or these ads to some oh shit, just clicked on my image so you want to switch these uh, ads with uh, any other ad means like um just just want something else so what you want to do is uh, you go back to post you can do this for post and pages because uh, there, there are some pages like privacy pages and contact us pages you don't want to show your ads on these kind of pages so what you do is you just go back this is uh, this is the edit page section so after after this privacy policy page there is a section CTR theme options so you can just optimize this uh, uh, web page you can put some meta description in here you can put some meta keywords in here okay this is the section I was uh, talking about so it says disable ads on this page so do not display ads on this page okay and this is disable push down images these are the push down images these are the push down images so I want to disable these as well so okay cool okay this is all done for these pages and uh, okay uh, these are for the pages and so there won't be any push down images or ads on the privacy pages if you if I go back to my privacy page there won't be any ads okay this there's, there's none so there's no ads no Google Ads no images in here that's cool okay what about the what about the post uh, like you just posted a post and you don't want these these images to be on your on your that post means you want to switch these images to any other images so what you can do is the same thing just write your post put your meta description keywords and you don't want to disable uh, on this page and you want to you can you can disable push down images if you want but okay what you can do is you can just browse for for any other 326 into 280 uh, size of image and this will override the default image means this will just override this one these images on that specific post so this is another cool feature of this CTR theme so what's the next thing okay the next thing is uh, I have applied these uh, themes on two of my blogs so I'll, I'll the one is without banner and the second one is with banner so I'll show you the examples of my blogs so this is one of uh, my blog that is without banner so I haven't used the banner on this one and this is uh, the ads this is Google Ads this is Google Ads and I below this Google Ad and this is my image just like uh, not the not the push down image this is the normal image with my affiliate link so if I refresh this page so these two Im uh, these two adsense ads so see one is here and the second one is just below this image this is cool so if I refresh again uh, it's gonna it's gonna be showing on okay here it just switches the uh, switches the places on your blog so very cool and this is my second one with my um, header so and these are my push down images so this is with my affiliate link you can see here one and two so and these are my these are my ads here if I refresh they're gonna disappear from here. Uh oh. They're gonna disappear from here. Well, wow. one is here. The second one. Here. Good. And uh, I'm not using this 160 into 600 skyscraper for AdSense. Uh, instead, I'm using this uh, uh, affiliate banner. And you can see that uh, if I if I refresh this one, my banner 
it's gonna it's gonna change from this one to the second one okay cool in the next video i'll be showing you how to do this it's very simple just a free free plugin now i'll be discussing one of the problem you might face if you're using this thing first time um if you if you if you put this image in here that's not 326 into 280 in size and there's no option in here to delete this image um if you if you have mistakenly uh, put another size of the image so the best option to that is you just go down and go down and reset the theme that's all that's all you can do and it, all these options they go to the the default options and then you just uh, put the options again and use your 326 into 280 uh, push down image that's all and that's that's all in this theme so before i before i end this video i just want to give you a quick tip on this uh, adsense um, the best option to use for uh, google adsense ads is uh, just use the 326 into 280 ads because uh, if you're going to use this adsense section on this uh, on this theme it's gonna it's gonna generate two ads on your blog and these two ads uh, they keep on they keep on moving from one place to another it means they, they this theme it just switches your ads from one place to another so it, it's gonna give you high uh, ctr and just don't 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 put too many ads on your blog because it's, it's just gonna cluster your blog with adsense ads and uh, it might look spammy so that's that's all if you like the video just comment below any suggestions just uh, just drop a line Thanks a lot for your time. Bye.